Do you have animals that like to eat your garden? Do you have other animals that like to get into your compost? I started an Animal Kingdom legend. It says, don't ever go to Farmer Debbie's garden. You'll be sorry if you do. I'm going to show you exactly how I taught those animals to not come near my garden. It's easy, it's quick, and it's humane. Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome to my organic garden. All I have near is I have not provided. I made up a formula that works. You're going to need a blender. So let's head on into the kitchen. This is how I keep the possums out of my compost. The big pot in the back is full of kitchen scraps. If you have rabbits like I did, it's a little bit different. You're only going to use one jalapeno pepper. Fill it with water. Blend it until it's pepper juice. Now that water is going to have to be filtered, but I like to do that in two different stages. If you pour that into this filter like that, it just takes too long. So I'm going to filter first through just the mesh, and then I'll filter it again through the coffee filter. <coughs> This leftover pepper is going to go into my compost. That's going to help make that next bunch of compost really hot. And we'll see how the possum likes it. Be sure to rinse out the strainer really good because you don't want those pieces going into your spray bottle. Line your strainer with the coffee filter and pour the mixture into the coffee filter.
And finally, pour that into your spray bottle. Spray your plants with this and I guarantee you the animals are not going to like it and they probably will not be coming back. The pot of hot kitchen scraps has been soaking for 24 hours and I want to go out to the garden and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. But first, there's a couple of things to remember. First of all, if you are allergic to jalapenos, be sure you wear gloves and you may even want to wear a mask. Now, the other thing to remember is if your bottle had chemicals in it before, you do want to spray it until you're only getting jalapeno water out. And finally, the last thing that you need to do first before you spray down your whole garden, just spray one or two plants of each kind that you have just to make sure it's not going to have an adverse reaction to it, as in die. <laughs> I don't think it will, but please, I would like you to test it so that you don't write me and tell me that I ruined your garden. It worked for me years ago and it didn't kill my plants. These are corn cobs that the possum had dug up in some compost that I buried here. And then you see I've planted some papaya trees here because it's really, really rich. Here's another one coming up right there I just discovered. Here is where I buried some hot garbage and you can see that it started and it didn't finish eating the rest of the garbage that's down in there. I'm going to skim off some of this dirt here because it's basically finished compost and I'm going to add it to the kitchen garbage I have in my wheelbarrow right now and I'm going to mix it all up with some leaves. So I'm going to add the kitchen garbage that I have heated up with jalapeno pepper sauce and I'm going to mix this together. I think it's kind of gross, so I'm not going to show it on film, but I will show you where it's going. This big trellis here is for passion fruit. The passion fruit vines that I've been growing are ready to be transplanted, but this soil is so poor, I've got to enrich it. And that is what I'm saving that compost for. I'm going to give it a good mix put it right down where I'm going to be planting and in a couple of weeks it's going to be finished and I can plant the passion fruit vines right where I'm putting the compost. possum tries it, it's not going to be happy. And hopefully it's going to teach it not to get into my passion vines that are going to be growing here. I have to admit, the possum didn't learn its lesson as quickly as the rabbits did. So I'm continuing to blend up hot pepper juice to pour into my kitchen scraps and I still let it soak for about a day before I put it out in the garden where I'm making compost. Mrs. Rabbit went home to her little bunnies that morning and she said, now Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, I don't know what Farmer Debbie's doing to her garden, but you must never ever 
go back out there and eat your vegetables from her garden. Now, where's Peter? Great.